Chandana Vikramasinghe. Oh yes, a group of children representing the children of Sri Lanka. Come on, they deserve a bigger round of applause. Come on, let's hear it for the children of Sri Lanka. And uh, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The proceedings of uh, this program, this evening's program, is uh, streamed live on the web. And uh, once again, reminding you that it's streamed on uh, www.hambanthota2018.com. So, the whole world is watching. Everyone, anywhere in the world, is able to see what's happening right now. And uh, it's proven beyond doubt, it's proven beyond doubt that uh, for a country, for any country to prosper, for any country to prosper, 
properly, it uh, needs, they say it needs uh, two key ingredients. One, as you know, is uh, peace. And the other one, you know it very well, political stability. And uh, looking at Sri Lanka, do we have do we have these two key ingredients? Yes, we have. Yes, we have peace. And yes, we have political stability. And uh, Your Excellency, we are indebted to you always because through your visionary leadership, you ensured that we have peace in Sri Lanka and you still ensure that we have political stability in Sri Lanka. We are greatly indebted to you. Let's show our appreciation, ladies and gentlemen, to His Excellency the President. And Your Excellency, your name is going to be written in the golden letters in the history of the books of Sri Lanka. And talking of that, we have the two key ingredients and uh, now what we are responsible or what we are capable of doing is reaping or reaping the benefits of peace or the dividends in Sri Lanka and uh, we are gearing for that. Yes, we are gearing for that. And uh, we are looking at, we are looking at 2018. Yes, we are looking at 2018. And uh, we're going to come to that in a more detailed fashion. But right now we have uh, very special words of welcome. And uh, to welcome you officially, we have a gentleman. We would like to invite a gentleman who is uh, a very well respected personality when it comes to sports administration. Decades of experience, loads of experience. And uh, through his uh, personality and his perseverance, he's been able to uh, coordinate and link and bring together many local sports bodies and also the sports bodies in the region. And the name sports and the name uh, Hemisphere. Sports Hemisphere has a very strong bond, ladies and gentlemen. It's like horse and carriage. And we'd like to very warmly invite now to welcome all of you, the President of the Commonwealth Games Association and also the President of uh, the National Olympic Committee and also, very importantly, the Regional Vice President of the Commonwealth Games Federation. Could we please put, put our hands together and welcome Mr. Hemisphere Fernando, who's going to officially welcome all of us. I won, Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa, the President, Honorable Minister of Sports and other Ministers, Co-Chairman of the Organizing Committee and the Governor of the Central Bank, Honorable Members of Parliament, Excellencies, Secretaries of Ministries, Members of the organizing committee, members of media, distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commonwealth Games Association and the National Olympic Committee of Sri Lanka, and in my capacity as the regional vice president of the Commonwealth Games Federation, may I have the honor to welcome you to this occasion which will become a part of a legacy in this country. We are just about to launch the logo for 2018 Commonwealth Games candidature. You are aware that the city of Hambantota is shortlisted along with the city of Gold Coast of Australia for the securing of this most prestigious opportunity of hosting the Commonwealth Games in 2018. The organizing committee and subcommittees have been working very hard for the last few months and we are approaching the closing date for the bid submission on the 11th of May with a lot of confidence, not only because of the quantum already gone into the bid, but also for the competent and skillful people whom we have pulled together for the bidding process. It is noteworthy to mention 
that visionary thinking of our president, Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa, coupled with his dynamic statesmanship, gained momentum to pursue this formidable task. He envisioned that Sri Lanka, though small in size, could compete with any country in the world with its treasures ranging from amazing natural beauty, heritage and culture, to legacy of hospitality and talented workforce. Therefore, we see no reason as to why Hambantara should not be considered to be the host city in 2018. We would offer the participant in 2018 a unique exposure in Sri Lanka. Hambantara is an added strength being the city that is risen to be an economic hub from the ashes of tsunami. The city is also preparing herself for ICC World Cup and South Asian Beach Games this year. His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa further foresees the development in sports in the entire country by holding this event in Sri Lanka in 2018. However, he is not complacent with his vision alone. Instead, he is closely monitoring the process from the day one and giving us directions every day. I would not fail in my duty as the Regional Vice President of Asia of the Commonwealth Games Federation to facilitate matters for the organizing committee by resorting to my exposure in the Commonwealth movement over the last two decades. There are 71 CGS qualified to vote for the selection of the host city on 2018 Games. The voting will take place in St. Kitts and Nevis in November 2011. I am pleased to inform you that out of 71 countries, we have been assured the support by more than 50 CJS as at today. <laughs> Therefore, the leader's dream will be fulfilled. However, we need to keep this momentum going until the end without being joyful of the, of the assurances by our friends. This dream once realized, Sri Lanka would make history when she becomes the eighth country and Hambantota as the 20th city to hold the multinational and multidiscipline event in 2018, which was originated in 1930 as State Empire Games. As for those who are working on the bid, the list is too long to mention and to thank them. But they know they are in our hearts together. Ladies and gentlemen, let me once again extend a very warm welcome to all of you to this very special occasion of the ceremonial launch of 2018 Hambantota. Thank you.